Hi, I'm Ron Brown. Here in a very familiar setting in Memorial Stadium, Lincoln, Nebraska, a place where there's lots of en battle engagement going on, man. And uh, that's really what uh, my buddy Justin Wack and I are talking about today. Justin heads up Savvy Accountability, uh, designed uh, to em engage in the battle that we men have struggled with for so many years, and, and, and it's, it's going to new heights, and that's the issue of pornography. It's astronomical how many men are addicted to pornography, and now boys. There's a growing number of women as well. And uh, as many people that love football, Justin, I'm convinced there are probably are just as many who are involved in pornography in this nation yeah. by the millions, and it's growing. You're right in the heat of that battle. You're right at the line of scrimmage. Tell us what savvy accountability is all about and how you're addressing this issue individually and collectively with men and boys around the, around the nation. Well, you're exactly right in, in how huge it is. I mean, it's just with, with the way that the internet has brought it into our homes now, it's not like it used to be where, you know, probably my parents' generation, where, you know, you had to go to a bookstore, you had to go, go buy a magazine. Um, this is now bringing the stuff into your home. And mm. so you don't have to go seek it out. And, and, and the, I, I work with therapists a lot of times in, in, in developing this approach, and they talk about the four A's. It's affordable, it's accessible, it's anonymous, and a lot of times it's accidental. And, huh. and so, you know, a lot of times you'll come across this stuff accidentally mm. and, and, and the pornography industry knows that if they can just get that image in front of you for the first time. Um, and so really what Savvy Accountability is designed to do is unlike most of the stuff that's out there to ke keeping from that stuff getting into your home, we recognize that it's going to get there. We're in a battle with the pornography industry whose revenue exceeds the four major sports combined. Wow. And so, you know, to, to say that we're going to set out and, and, and keep them from getting this material into our homes is, is really kind of unrealistic. And so the approach that Savvy Accountability takes is how are we going to deal with that once that comes in? Well, we know that we're going to be faced with this, whether it's on the internet, whether it's uh, you're watching football on TV and the commercials or the cheerleaders, whatever mm -hmm. it may be, mm -hmm. we know that we're going to be faced with this material. And so we've developed Savvy Accountability to help you go through that mindset. How are you going to deal with it now that when you do see it? Because we know it's going to, we know you're going to see it. And we would like to think, well, you know, we could keep a pornographic image from ever entering the home, but chances are it's probably going to be unrealistic. So we need to look at it and say, okay, well, how are we going to develop something to help facilitate this, this relationship with each other? And in that, that mindset of saying, okay, here's how I'm going to, here's the decisions I'm going to make when I see that. Here, I'm not going to let my mind go here. Here's how I'm going to deal with it. Mm. And, and that's, that's kind of the premise of, of what we've wanted to, to create and, and done with Savvy Accountability. And the analogy that I, I see with it, Justin, is uh, when you're on an airplane, they, they talk about the oxygen mask, you know. They said, look, if something happens and the oxygen mask comes down, if you're sitting with a child, they say before you put it on your child, you put it on yourself first so you're breathing right, so you have enough sensibility to now put it properly on your child. Right. And I think that's where we're, we're at right now. We're, we're trying to go out and call Christian men and boys to go out and rescue our state, you know, and f let them know about Jesus Christ, preach the gospel anywhere, any place, any time, but we are ourselves not breathing right. right. So we need help across this great state. We have a pornographic epidemic understand that we are struggling there's a good chance that I'm speaking to you all of us are in danger and if 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 I'll tell you what if 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 we don't st get a hold of this thing then Justin we we have we'll, we'll have our lives ruined we won't live the kind of life the abundant life that Christ has called us to listen guys um, uh, bottom line if you have an issue it has to be dealt with and there are ministries out there that are that are ready and accessible to you as accessible as pornography is to all of us uh, it is just as important to realize that we have total accessibility to a biblical worldview on this thing with brothers ready to help you and uh, that's where savvy accountability is there for you so 